Okay. Good day, everyone, and I welcome you once again to my channel. Uh, please, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe, uh, like the video, and then uh, share the video. Thank you very much. And uh, now today, I want to show you how to uh, how to extract sampling points uh, from uh, the Google Heads. Uh, from the Google Heads. Uh, sometimes you don't need to go to the field to get the coordinate of your site. If you are familiar with where you have collected your samples and then you want to plot the map, uh, you need the coordinates of the places where you have collected the samples. Uh, in my earlier video on how to use Google Earth uh, for some of the, you know, I did a video on how to extract uh, shape file from Google Earth. Uh, in that video, I didn't show you how to get sampling point, which is very, very important, uh, you know. But for you to use Google Earth, one thing that is important is that you must be familiar with the grand truth the grand, the grand truth data of the area that you are working on. Uh, if you are familiar with that area, then for you to locate your sampling point on the Google Earth will not be a problem. So I'm going to show you in this video how to extract the uh, the sampling point from the Google Earth uh, Pro, and then we'll prepare it as a shape file in QGIS. I mean, you prepare it as a point uh, point uh, layer in QGIS. So this is what I'm going to show you. Please follow me, and then uh, as I move on step by step. Uh, the first thing you need to do is to search for the area that you're working on. For instance, if I'm working on uh, Abuja in Nigeria, uh, I just need to search and type Abuja in the search box and then click uh, search. So Google Earth is going to bring up Abuja. And then uh, from there, so this is Abuja as it is coming up right now. Now you must, you need to have good internet for you to be able to assess uh, the different uh, features in this Abuja uh, uh, city. I mean, the city that you are working on. Now, this is what the uh, Google Earth has brought up. Now, what I need to do is to zoom in to be able to get the area that I'm interested in. For instance, if I actually did a walk, and the walk is actually at different parts of Abuja, uh, I just need to know where those points are. For instance, if I've collected a data in this place, Kubwa, I've collected data in this Guarimpa, I've collected data in Maitama, I've collected data in Otako, you know. So what I need to do is just to zoom in a little bit to be able to know where exactly is the point where I have collected the data, okay? So I try to zoom in a little bit. Now, for instance, if I've collected my data in this particular point, Liberty Holdings Hotel, so what I need to do to get the coordinate of this particular location is to come to this menu bar on the Google Heads and click on Hard Place Mark. When you click on Hard Place Mark, when you click on it, something is going to prop up like this. And then you see the place mark inside the Google Heads. So you have to click on it and then drag it to where you want to locate the coordinate. So I want to get the coordinate of this particular place. So I just drop it here on top of it. Once you drop it there, uh, the Google Earth will give you on the left-hand side, it will give you the latitude and the longitude of that particular point, that particular location. So that gives you that location. Now, uh, at some time, at some point, you may not, if you are using uh, Google Earth for the first time, you may need to set your uh, uh, what's it called your uh, coordinate to the particular format that you need to use in uh, QGIS. Usually, we use decimal points. So, and because I've already used mine, so I've already set it as decimal. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. So, let me close this now. So, I close this, and then I'll go to to be able to because if you are using Google Earth for the first time, when you click on Add Place Mark, what the value of the uh, coordinate that you will get will be in uh, degree, minutes, and seconds. 
So and um, most times you need to convert it to decimal to be able to use it in QGIS. So now you need to go to uh, tools, click go to tools, uh, and then go to options. Options, when you click on options, you now see different uh, uh, points. Then you see this uh, show latitude slash longitude. So you will now click on deg decimal degrees because usually to be on degrees mean decimals and minutes. So you need to now click on decimal degrees and then close this. All right, so let's go back to the add place mark. So add place mark, this is the add place mark again. And I will have to drag it to the point that I'm interested in. So I drop it here. All right, so this is the decimal, uh, the coordinate of this location. So what I need to do, uh, because we're going to prepare it in a, in a QGIS, so you need to open an Excel sheet. So let me open an Excel sheet here. Uh, let me just open an Excel sheet on my computer. And then uh, we're going to uh, bring up the uh, the coordinates on Excel sheet. So I'm opening an Excel sheet now. Uh, so just one second, I believe it's going to open in a while. All right. Okay, so my Excel is coming up. So you have to now copy. Okay, so I have my Excel on right now. Okay. All right, good. So my Excel, I need to create the, the columns. So I'm going to give sites as a first column. The second column, latitude. Latitude. Then the next column, longitude. Okay. So the first site that I worked on is... Uh, uh, in Cuba. Let me just say Cuba. All right. Then what is the latitude of that particular place? So I have to come to this point and then uh, you don't need the degree. Just copy only the, uh, you can even delete the, the, that degree. Just copy the value only. Just copy the latitude and go to the Excel and paste it here. Right. Then you copy the longitude as well. So this is the longitude, just copy it also, and then paste it in that Excel uh, sheet. Okay, that is the site one. And then the next site, we can minimize this. So you can close this, uh, this uh, add place mark and go to where you have the next uh, site. So when you go to the next site, uh, you now drag the, what you can drag it there. You can just drag the Google Air to that point. So let's say I work on this uh, other hotel called Trascorp Hilton, Abuja. So I'm going to add place mark again, click on add place mark, and then take it to that particular point and drop it there. All right, so I have uh, this latitude and longitude again. So I'll copy the latitude. All right, then go to the Excel. Uh, this is, I'm going to give you the name, my Tama. Okay. Then copy, paste the latitude there. Then I will copy the longitude also. The longitude. And then paste it there also. Uh, okay. So let's now go to the third, the third side. I just want to pick about three different points and then we'll just, uh, you know, conclude the, uh, the, uh, the video. So I'm going to drop in another part of Abuja. Uh, so let's say I work in this area. Uh, so I'm just going to click on add place mark again, add place mark, and then I'll drop it in this place, shop right Abuja. So I'm just going to put it here. All right. So the next thing is for me to copy the latitude again. You can see it's very, very simple you know, to locate in the Google Earth. And then you can get your coordinate instead of traveling to that particular location to get the, uh, you know, the, uh, so the coordinate of the location. So uh, the longitude now, so I'm going to drop it now. All right, so I have three different points. I think we can just run it up on this. So now the next thing, haven't located the coordinate and you have put it in Excel, you are done with the Google Earth. What you need to do now 
is to bring up this Excel sheet in a QGIS. And, and I think I've already shown you that in my earlier video. I'm just going to quickly uh, do a rough, a very quick, uh, uh, you know, quick, uh, just to show you quickly on how to do that. So go to file. You are going to save this Excel sheet as .csv. Uh, go to save as. Go to save as. Uh, okay, then you change this to .csv, comma delimited. This is it. All right. Then you can save it. Let me save it on my desktop. Uh, desktop. And I'll give it a name. Let me just give it a name. Uh, as okay, let me give it a name as train. Well, okay, so command delimited, so that is it. All right, so it is saved. So the next thing is to bring up the QGIS. All right, bring up your QGIS. Uh, and then in QGIS, you can just uh locate the particular state that you are working on. Uh, okay, so I'm going to zoom this. Zoom to layer, and I want to locate the Abuja and extract the Abuja that I'm work that I have this, uh, you know. So, uh, so I'm going to extract Abuja. Go to right click on it. Go to the open attribute table. Open attribute table. Then, uh, just locate Abuja. Uh, I think another way that, by which you can also select instead of coming to open attribute table. You can also select uh, the area of of your of, of your uh, the area that you are interested in by clicking on this particular icon here. Select features. When you click on select features, you would have this uh, option of of uh, you know dropping just when you have when you select the icon, just go to where you have the Abuja Federal Capital Territory. And this is it. Just click on it. When you click inside it, it will select that particular uh, that particular place that you're interested in. So the next thing is to return back, just return it back, and then uh, pick the normal uh, pan. Then I can extract this, go to the, right click on the table of content, save selected features has, so I want to save it as Abuja, okay? Then click OK. So I haven't saved this. I can just remove this other one and enlarge this. Zoom to layers. All right, so this is Abuja. And then I can bring up those points that I've already saved. Uh, just quickly go to layer and then add layer. Now we are adding uh, comma delimited text layer. So click on the limited test layer. Then you navigate to where you have the folder. So I'm going to navigate to my desktop. So I'm going to navigate to my desktop where I have the, where I have the, uh, the stuff. So uh, this is it. Then now you have the option to select which one is longitude, which one is latitude. So you can just leave it the way it is now and click hard. And let's see what happened. Okay, you see, this at the point is not showing where, but let me just uh, remove this from red color, double click, and then go to symbology. And then I want to make it uh, transparent, uh, transparent color or something transparent, transparent feel. Okay, then apply and then okay. So the point is now showing. So these are the points where I collected the samples. Now, so it, it is very, very easy to get your sampling point from Google Earth if you are familiar with the locations of your study. Instead of traveling to those locations, you can get the coordinates on the Google Earth and then you can bring it up on, a, on your shape file in QGIS. So I'm going to stop the video here. Uh, thank you very much. And if you have questions, comment, please just drop it in the uh in the comment uh, section i hope to address your uh your issues your challenges later and then if you want to uh consult me for any other thing you can also reach out to me my email address is on my uh, the description of my youtube uh, channel my email address you can reach me there and then we can discuss further on how to assist you
thank you very much and then have a wonderful uh a wonderful day ahead bye bye